Hi, this is Rick Nielsen from Cheap Trick. Martha Quinn from MTV is here with me at my house in Illinois. And guess what? We're going to be going and listening to some new stuff for this month's edition of The Basement Tapes. So it's cold out here, but it's going to be hot down there. But we're going to need your vote. So why don't you come with us? Anybody that wants to watch the MTV Basement Tapes, come on with us. Come on down. One, two, one, two, three. Practice, practice, practice. Finding a manager who can find his cut to 10%. Riding home in a van at 4 a.m. and giving each other the flu. Working a day job to scrape up the bucks for a good amplifier. Hey, if they survived all those games, how can they leave their video in the basement? That's why MTV created The Basement Tapes. To give new bands a chance at a major recording contract. The best equipment available. And maybe even stardom. And you vote them in. This opportunity is knocking right now on the MTV Basement Tapes. I'm Martha Quinn and we are about to start the sixth and final round of the Basement Tapes before the finals next month. Six talented yet undiscovered bands will be putting themselves on the line for your vote of confidence. Each group has been given a special 900 number, so to help some deserving band find an audience and sign with a record company, all you have to do is make a phone call. Tonight's winner gets a complete line of Casio musical products, including a Casio CZ101 synthesizer and the CK200 keyboard. And and they will fill the last slot in the finals, which are happening in February. That's when they will get a shot at an epic recording contract and a new video. Now, in the past, we've checked out the basements of JoLynn Turner and Frank Zappa, but tonight, we're going to explore the home of Rick Nielsen from top to bottom. First, let me say great, great sweater. Well, thank you, Martha. Uh, welcome to my house, and uh, let's do some basement taping today. You know, uh, I think uh, my house has some special historical uh, significance that we could talk about later, and the... Uh, like, uh, there's been lots of musicians that lived here through the years, and uh, let's peek into that in a little bit, okay? You have a, a guitar collection mm -hmm. that maybe maybe we're going to get to see. It's under lock and key, sealed vault. But I got maybe the key, though. You I have the key. key. And also, I'd like to see more of your, your sweaters. Any more like this? I could uh, maybe find one for you. We'll, we'll, why don't we dig around the house while we're listening and watching these basement tapes a little bit, okay? And also, uh, I understand that I think we have some cheese and crackers here, and I think uh, John and Bunny and Robin might stop over in a little bit, but uh, first it's time to tell you about our first band. Well, first up tonight, we have the Silent Types, who are from Brooklyn, New York. They've been playing together since 1983, and in the video, I Can Live With That, they mix black and white with color footage. The black and white stuff was to put together in a New York City recording studio. Yeah, yeah. Then co-director Andrew Behar and Sarah Sackner took the band to beautiful Miami Beach, where the palm trees are blowing and weaving around. And in case you're wondering why the family you're about to see is beaming with pride, it's because their boy, Andrew, directed a video. Here's Tom Scarpino, Rob Kearney, and Nick Mensher, collectively known as the silent types with I Can Live With That. Stop. 
We're here at Rick Nielsen's house located just outside of Chicago and it is so cold outside that Rick was kind enough to let us in to do the basement tapes from inside the house. You just saw silent types of I Can Live With That, a video that was featured this past September at the new music seminar in New York City. Next up is the second basement tape band ever from London. Individually, the members of Between the Sheets came into the band with a lot of experience and apparently some people think they've found the right mix of personnel. Rod Cook from Techniques of Persuasion directed the video and it's the same company that David Mallet works for. In fact, it was shot at the London docks, which you might recognize as being the same location that Mallet used for Bowie and Jagger's Dancing in the Streets. Yeah, and uh, drummer Ray Knight has done session work for David Bowie and Carly Simon. Uh, you may be familiar with Eddie Kulak. He plays keyboards for Aztec Click Camera and toured with everything but the girl, the poor guy. And rounding out the group are lead singer Tag and guitarist Lee James Russell. So here's Between the Sheets with Live Like That. live like that from between the sheets and by the way if you ever need a jingle the band singer tag makes some extra cash by writing them his latest was for l'oreal cosmetics i can just hear meredith baxter bernie singing and i'm worth it <laughs> we're here at rick's house and here we see all of your gold records and stuff like that but rick 
What? How many records do you have to sell to get this? Well, this is the New Zealand equivalent of a gold <laughs> album. This is a Tasmanian devil, and uh, there's not many bands in the world that can boast this. <laughs> Did you actually bring this back from New Zealand? Well, uh, he was alive back then, because they give you a live Tasmanian devil as the, as the present, but uh, right now he's sort of in the dormant state. I think uh, he thaws out after the winter passes. Most people bring back kiwi fruit from New Zealand, not dead things. Here, okay. here you go, we'll hand this right back down. Okay. We at this point have seen two bands, and there's still four to come. After this break, we've got a computer animated video from a group known as Soma Holiday. You're watching the MTV Basement Tapes from Rick Nielsen's home somewhere outside of Chicago. The finals are next month, and here's who's made it so far. Heat and Sir from Chicago, Boot Camp from Baltimore, Extreme from Boston, Four Reasons Unknown from Dallas, and last month's winner, Streetway from New York City. So if you want to be a rock and roll star, and you have a basement videotape, write to MTV Basement Tapes, 1775 Broadway, New York, New York, 10019, and they'll send you all the scoop on how to enter. And who knows, your band could be the next one to win a recording contract and a whole bunch of musical instruments from Cassia. That would be good. Getting out of the batter's box and making your way towards home plate is <laughs> Soma Holiday. Well, this is a duet that consists of a French synthesizer keyboard player named Jean-Marc Vallade and a vocalist from Pennsylvania named Jane Honecker. So between France and Pennsylvania, what we wind up is our second basement tape band from Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, computer animator Dove Jacobson heard their music in a local club and tracked down their independently produced EP. Then after 15, 5, 10, 15 <laughs> calls, he tracked them down. Dove used a $50 computer from Toys R Us to make this video. Here's their video, Human Vectors. Thank you. 
Vectors, a video from Soma Holiday, who joined many of today's top artists in working with computer animation. Is Rick around? You know, I'm going to go find where he keeps those sweaters. Hmm, the bedroom. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see where the... Oh, I hear the closets. Let's see. An, an alarm? Come on, Rick. Let's see. I bet they're all the way on... Yeah, right here. <gasps> Hello, Martha. Oh. I know you've been eyeballing my sweaters all night, so I just happened oh, to come hi, to my Rick. closet. Oh, hi. What are you doing? Hey, yeah, yeah, I got a good one here for you. I know you like the Beatles. Remember these guys? The Fab Four? Well, let's get rid of that one, because I got another one to show you. This one's my special MTV snaky type, because I know you like oh. reptiles. Right? There's one like that. I'll get rid of that one, too. And here's one. This is a really just a one-of-a-kind... A very special one, one of, a, of a kind. One Rick, of a uh, one sort of one of a kind. You told me that this was made exclusively with me in mind. It was, but uh, I liked it so much that I got it for myself too. Uh, we better close the closet and talk about some music here. Uh, yeah. We're gonna move on. Beat Man is our next entry, and they can best be described as a one-man show. For Motocycle, Will Hirsch produced and wrote uh, the music, played most of the instruments, produced and shot the video, did all the optical effects, and financed the whole thing himself. Will's originally from Seattle, Washington, but he's been living in Sydney, Australia for the past 10 years. Yeah, I wonder if he knows a uh, Midnight Oil or ACDC. Well, yeah. actually, he might because when he's not making videos, he is a cameraman at the Entertainment Center in Sydney where most of the major concerts are held. Concerts by people like The Police, David Bowie, and Duran Duran, just... Just for mm. starters. Those were some of the guys that won some of the earlier basement tapes, yes. is that correct? Yeah, yes, right. we made David Bowie. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, Beat Man is Will's alias, and when you see the video, you'll realize that Motocycle is a play on words. Here's Beat Man with Motocycle, his own one-man show. You know, I was really just looking for the bathroom. It's, it's right down the hall. Let's go here. Let's <laughs> go down the hairs. Right down the that's Motorcycle from Beatman. Yeah, Will Hirsch got some of those great aerial shots by attaching a camera right to his helicopter. <laughs> Don't try that at home, kids. It'll bum your mom and dad right out. <laughs> and speaking of homes, we are in the home of Rick Nielsen. Coming up, we're going to do the El Camino with the El Caminos. Caminos. Meanwhile, we're waiting for Robin Zander, Bunny Carlos, and John Brandt, the rest of Cheap Trick, to stop by. Soon. Hi, I'm Martha Quinn, and Rick Nielsen and I are hosting the sixth and final round before the Basement Tapes finals next month. And I bet you're wondering how bands get on this show. Yeah, I, I always wondered about it, but, uh, you know, they can't bribe us because none of them have made the big bucks yet. <laughs> Here's the truth, though, really. Uh, they get a panel of experts together. <laughs> they view all the videos. <laughs> they look at them real close. And then they narrow it down to the six finalists. They met at the Century Cafe in New York City, and this month's judges included the lovely Shaka Khan, my good buddy Todd Rungren, sort of an indecisive but fellow Chicago person, Emo Phillips, Paul Humphreys, and Andy McCuskey of OMD, as well as a couple of those guys from TNT. We're here in Rick Nielsen's guitar cellar, and I'm noticing some un... Rick, why is that noise? I got an idea. Follow me. <laughs> Come on, Martha. We'll check it out. Meow. Whoa. You know, Martha? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Martha, how you doing? Sounding good down here. Of course. What's going on down here? We're doing a basement taste, Martha and I. You sort of knew about that, but uh, seeing you guys practicing down here in my basement is sort of a thrill. I've always wanted to get your autographs. <laughs> cool. Sorry. Right. Say, uh, I got an idea. We've got this new song that we'd like to premiere, do an MTV world premiere for you, if that's all right. Well, I'm here. I will, we'll do it live. Uh, the one we've been working on. The right? one we've worked Probably the next album. You want to do it right now? Well, yeah. yeah. Why not? Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah. All right, so we'll do it this way. I'm Martha Quinn. Tonight we have a very special live world <laughs> premiere uh, from Cheap Trick. Going to be on on your new album? Probably so. Yeah, we're working okay, on so it right now. Okay, so world premiere yeah. video from Cheap Trick. One, Thank two, three. It's strangely familiar. 
Okay. You haven't I, heard the lyrics though. The lyrics are really no, cool. I, I think I've heard this song. I think there's gonna be a copyright problem here. Les Garland will be on the phone. I don't know. Never, Louis Louis came out in all sorts of versions. What's wrong with this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, what, uh, what else besides that one, one song are you guys working on? Well, let's see. We just got done with a nine-month tour all over the U.S. and Canada and Puerto Rico and a bunch of stuff like that. And now we've got a couple days off before we go to Europe. And uh, after we get done playing in Europe and England, we're going to uh, maybe do an album in England. But uh, that's coming up soon. So uh, maybe we should let the boys get back to rehearsing. And uh, What a guy. A couple of days off. Decides yeah. to do the basement tapes. Let's just come to Chicago. All right. Well, I'll let you guys get back to it. See you later. Oh. Bye. Take bye. it away, guys. <laughs> Yeah, well, you never know what's going to happen in these basements, in these parts. There we go, we're out of here. Good. Let's see. Our next band is from Laguna Beach, California. And about four years ago, Joey Petro and Mark Ritchie wrote a bunch of surf tunes, appropriately enough, at the beach. Okay, that's the best part, uh, place to write surf tunes. Yeah, okay, Bill Sherman and Mark Sproul were added to the band, and they started playing at local clubs. Thus, the El Caminos were born. And in fact, Joey, who's the vocalist and guitar player, and Mark, the drummer, spent a year teaching the French all about surf music, and they like to call their sound Surf Max, kind of like a cross, they say, between surf and calypso. Their video shot at the Pan Pacific in Los Angeles, and without further ado... Here's the El Caminos with Do, Do the, the El Camino. Camino. If you don't answer like telephone, I know to knock on the door, I'm gonna break down your door, I'm gonna take you back.
You just saw the El Caminos do the El Camino. Yes, it's true. The girl in the video, Eva, was on Star Search. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Demonstrating her acting abilities. Martha, we're down to the sixth and final band of the night. Our last band tonight called The Wind was founded by members Lane Steinberg and Stephen Katz, who met in 1979, their senior year in high school down in Florida. Then they went to the University of Miami for a while, played the local club scene, and then migrated north a few years later to find fame and fortune. You think that came this far north? No. I doubt it. Okay. They <laughs> put out a few not. independent <laughs> records and their latest, Living in a New World, was produced by Mitch Easter of R.E.M. fame. And the video, Good News, Bad News, was directed by their friend Lenny Dorfman, who was working on the now defunct TV series Hometown. He was able to borrow some equipment from the set, and the band invited everyone they knew to a 4th of July picnic at a friend's house on Long Island. Yeah, Lane told us the video was shot in black and white because the medium reflects the conflict between good and bad news. And it was cheaper. I think that helped, too. Here's Lane Steinberg, Stephen Katz, Roy Abrams, and Donnie Nelson, better known as The Wind with Good News, Bad News. that they like to think of that video as being a cross between I Love Lucy and the Little Rascals. And that's it. That's all six of the Basement Tapes bands for tonight. But they need your vote. Sure, they told their folks, they told their relatives, they told their friends, but they need your vote right now. So get on the phone, call, and we're going to have a winner real soon. Don't forget what's up for grabs tonight. The winner gets a complete line of Casio musical instruments. I'm talking about enough to outfit the whole band. That includes the Casio CZ101 synthesizer and the CK200 keyboard. They'll also move on to the finals next month where they'll compete for a record contract with Epic Records and a new video. And to help you decide who to vote for, here's another little clip of each group and a phone number to call right now. Oh, yeah.
but I encourage you to keep dialing. <laughs> the phone lines will be open until 11 p.m. Eastern. That's 10 Central, 8 o'clock out on the West Coast. Meanwhile, we're going to take a break, do some videos, maybe even one from Cheap Trick. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Well, we just saw some early returns in the voting, and before that video from Cheap Trick, tonight it's you. Yeah, it's a little early to uh, make any predictions, but we are uh, running up these little tallies here to prove that you guys are calling. And please do it, because like out of these six bands, somebody's going to move into the finals and they win some really neat Casio gear. What we have tonight is three bands from New York, one from California, and two from overseas. So what we'll do here is we'll take a look at each band and the phone numbers for you to call in and vote. and another look at the videos. We'll be right back after a little video from Heart. Well, we just saw the latest returns in the Basement Tapes voting, and before that video from Heart, what about love? Mm -hmm. Now, if you haven't already voted, do so, because we don't have too much time left to vote. And we're here in Rick Nielsen's Guitar Cellar. Yeah, well, you know, Martha, I've, uh, I've always been playing guitar for the longest time with cheap trigger and without, but uh, I've loved collecting guitars, and I picked out a couple special ones just for you. Uh, this one is... Uh, it's owned by Don and Phil Everly for the Everly Brothers. And this is a Willie and Waylon, Waylon Jennings guitar. See with the genuine leather implants <laughs> in there? Well, we were talking about the implants and that's some of them. And uh, this one was owned by Jimi Hendrix. It's a left-handed 1957 Fender Stratocaster. Very rare with gold hardware, too. Kind of cool. And this one was owned by... Uh, it's owned by me. I don't know what you think of this. Is a, this is a 1960... Uh, Gibson 12 string, 6 string double neck guitar. It's just some of the stuff. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Most of the stuff's on the road. But what's really important today is the six bands from the basement tapes. And in fact, what we're going to do right here is take a look one more time in each of the six bands and the phone numbers to call. I can live with that.
band with a video and you want to be in the Basement Tapes competition, write to us and find out how to enter. Here's the address. MTV Basement Tapes, 1775 Broadway, New York, New York, 10019. We're going to start a new series off right after next month's final, so definitely get your tapes in. Rick, thank you very much for having Martha, us here. Martha, thank you for coming over to my house and doing these Basement Tapes with me, letting me be the co-host, because I'm new at this, but you're an old pro at this, and uh, it was sort of cool that we got to see you, John and uh, Robin, and Bunny's upstairs eating cheese and crackers. <laughs> and uh, when we leave here, why don't we go upstairs, and I'll give you the sweater of your choice for you to wear on MTV on your next show. How about that? Right here. It's on camera. You heard it. Once again, the Basement Tapes continue on, and we're going to have the finals February 9th, and we will be back then. So we will see you at that time. And once again, thank you for having us. Oh. Uh, <laughs> please, you don't do that. Martha, yeah, yeah. 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 Sounding good down here. Of course.